George Robert Duncan was a young brave soldier who died honourably for his country during the Battle of Fromel. George was born in Armadale in 1897. However, he, his parents, Watson and France, and his three younger siblings moved to Sydney shortly after, growing up in Newland Street, Waverley. George was educated at Waverley Public School, later attending Sydney High School, where he served in cadets for six years. In 1915, at the age of 18, George was handed a white feather to symbolise cowardice while sitting in the church. This led to his enlistment into World War I on the 2nd of October. Shortly after, George joined the 55th Battalion on the Western Front and set sail to Egypt on the 20th of April 1916. Whilst training in Egypt, George fell ill and was hospitalised. However, he continued to write to his family, reassuring them that he was well and uninjured to avoid worrying them and help raise morale back home. In June 1916, he crossed to France, serving as a private in Fromel in the 59th Battalion of the 15th Brigade. When George Duncan arrived in Fromel, he loved it there and expressed that in one of his letters, sent home. He wrote home to his mother and father, France is a beautiful place, a regular paradise after the burning sands and heat of the Egyptian desert. As the battle drew closer, he began to realise that he would most likely not be returning home due to the severity of the war, and he wrote to his mother saying, There is no reason, whatever why, I shouldn't go right through the ordeal and come back and see you all again. Now I can only imagine. George was killed in action during the Battle of Fromel on the 19th of July 1916. George and most of the 59th Battalion were wiped out after going over the top of about 460 metres to go over no man's land. It is believed that he died near the enemy's line after being shot by German machine guns. George's family suffered a great deal of grief after his death, continuing to try and find out what happened to him in the years following. Almost five years after George's death in 1921, his father wrote, Our loss was a severe one, but the knowledge that the sacrifice he made is appreciated by those he held in high esteem brings comfort to us. We are proud of him when alive and we are proud of him in death. He did his duty. George Duncan's body has still not been identified, but he may be among those recovered after the war and buried at the VC Corner Cemetery. His body rests with hundreds of other Australian heroes. He was and forever will be a brave and compassionate soldier who served his country with the greatest sacrifice.